specifically good in this deck that I'm missing here. So, all right. Let's craft our Rescue Ace cards. <laughs> oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey everybody, what is going on? Hexlex here. Got another Master Duel video for you. We got another new pack, which means it's time for another pack opening here with chat. So everyone say hello to YouTube and or your future selves. Um, so we actually just were talking with chat here uh, about which pack we were going to open because... Uh, one thing that I didn't realize at first was that uh, we, of course, have the new secret packs, but uh, the new selection pack as well does actually contain all the new URs in the secret pack. So uh, if you're like me and been playing a while and like keep up with packs, then oops, I didn't mean to back all the way out, uh, then we can just go ahead and grab the new selection pack. Because, um, again, I already have all the current Rescue Ace cards. I guess I was talking about this earlier. I might start actually pulling for some Bakanko cards on the side, too, because... I've been interested in that archetype. Uh, we do have some free pulls, so we can start with that. And we're going to have to get this made at some point. But I want to open 50 packs here, and I'm not going to have enough to do that if I if I get the pearly mate right away. So, oh, patience is a virtue, as they say, and I keep backing out. All right. Uh, let's start with our free packs and then just go from there. Uh, we'll do the pearly pack first. In a perfect world, I can just get my Eperly Noir here. If I do, I might actually consider opening the Rescue Ace pack instead of the Selection pack. Because Eperly Noir is like the main other thing that I want. I mean, there's a couple of cards that are kind of up there too. Ah, it's a Melfi Wally. A Royal one? No. Alright. This is our first pack. Getting that Wally. Alright, let's do the Bakaka one next. We got two URs from the three free pulls. That's awesome. I have, like, decent luck with getting URs from the free pulls. I don't think there's going to be one in this one. No, it doesn't look like it. It's too bad that Makanko said to get paired with Guardians. I mean, it makes sense, like, thematically. They're both equipped decks, but, like, one of those decks is a lot better than the other. Um, alright, now this is the Rescue Ace pack, so... Uh, no shininess, but there could still be a UR in it. You got Turbulence from the free Rescue Ace pack? Hell yeah. Guardians are so nothing. Well, the thing about Guardians in particular is that, like... Their whole gimmick is that they have their own respective equip spells, but you have to have the equip spell out first. So you can't, like, equip the spell to the Guardian, like, ever. It just doesn't, like, make sense. I don't know, it's weird. What do Guardians do? Uh, nothing. They, do, they, they don't do anything. Uh, I keep backing all the way out. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna start opening the selection pack now. They have a lot of, like, different battle-based effects. Like, there's one that can attack twice, there's one that can attack directly, there's one that's just got, like, piercing, I think, I don't know. Um, Nightmare Arrivals. Alright, I'm just gonna dive right into it, our first 10 pack. Uh, ooh, no Rainbow Glows here, so no, no guaranteed you are, but that doesn't mean we won't necessarily pull one. Time to manifest a Royal. Ideally, I wouldn't mind a Royal Emergency or a Preventer, that would be nice. One other reason to open the Selection Pack and not the Secret Pack that I didn't talk about, by the way, is the fact that the Selection Pack is going to have all of the cards from the pack, but the Secret Pack, the front half is like random stuff, so you could get a UR in the front half and not even get something for your archetype. Okay, there's Chimera. Oh, I didn't read this earlier, actually. This is like their main fusion card. During the main phase, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a beast or fiend monster. It's a quick by spell too, that's worth noting. During your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard and you have Chim <laughs> I always read this card's name in Yugi's voice, like, if this card is in your graveyard and you have Chimera, the flying mythical beast, on your field or in your graveyard, <laughs> you can activate one of these effects and this card to your hand. Banish this card if you do special summon both Gazelle and Burfamith from your deck or graveyard. That's not bad at all, actually. That's pretty good. Okay. Yes, we will definitely be doing some deck building uh, after this as well, for sure. I'm kind of shocked it isn't a UR as well. I'm, they made Burfomet a UR. 
instead, which is a little weird. But um, and then of course also the main chimera, or one of the main chimera fusions. No rainbows on some of them. It's good. All right, see what we got here. Ages of Stars and Frost. Quick play spell. If a monster you control was destroyed by your spell effect or your opponent's effect and sent to the graveyard this turn, you can conduct your next battle phase twice. If a monster you control is shuffled into the deck or turn the extract face down, boss is in your graveyard. Yeah, add this card to hand. If a monster you control it was destroyed by your spell effect or your opponent's card effect. You can, uh, that's, mm. we can have two battle, that's not even that hard to destroy a card you buy, or monster by your own spell. That's not too difficult. Does this mention Visus? No, it doesn't, damn. Uh, if this mentioned Visus, it would have been searchable and uh, uh, you can cook with that. That's a card you can cook with for sure. Do folks run that generally? No, I don't think so. I just thought it was a really interesting effect. And yeah, actually, despite having Visus and Right card on, it's actually not a Visus card at all. It doesn't even mention the text. It's completely generic. That's interesting. Very cool card name too. Cool card, cool name, all around cool. Why? Is, what? What the? What are Gaia and Curse of Dragon doing in this pack? <laughs> What's going on here? Why? Why? What do you do? There's no Gaia. Oh, there are Gaia cards in this pack. That's right. I forgot about that. Do you need to? No, you don't need two battle phases, but but I mean you could have two battle phases. <laughs> Alter guys, Textia, it's it me, it me. <laughs> yeah, the new the new fusion. There's a synchro too, isn't there? But yeah, totally worth putting vanilla Gaia and vanilla Curse of Dragon in this pack for sure. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Uh, one more pack? Is that it? One more pack to get a UR? All right, well, let's hope. Uh, could still be. This could be it. Oh, or this, please. No, no URs. Damn. Well, no, glossy. Ah, I thought for a second I called it. Ah, damn. So first ten pack. Not looking too great. Ugh. Alright, let's hope we get... I mean, we'll get at least one UR here. Let's hope it's not the pity UR. As the literal last card. Okay, we have two. These are both going rainbow, right? Yes. Okay, so we have two. That's not, that's not awful. You know what? After my luck in recent packs, I really cannot complain <laughs> if I don't pull anything here. Here's one of the new fusions. Burfamit, the mythical king of phantom beasts. Level 624, two monsters with different types, beast, fiend, or illusion. Compass guard, in chimera, Scarlet's fusion summons at a beast, fiend, or illusion deck to graveyard, and your opponent's turn, you banish from graveyard to your opponent, you banish. Okay, that's interesting. I forgot that one existed. Yeah, the other one definitely seems a lot, uh, what's the word? Better. Um... <laughs> Wow, they put Vanilla Gaia Knight in this pack, too. They really, like, it's like two cards. Is this Karma from Hex Pulling? <laughs> Something like that. It's, it's, it's variants. You are? No. World? No. Okay. Okay, here's one of the URs. I think the other UR is actually the pack after this. Yeah, see, I'm glad I did the selection pack, so that way my UR is actually relevant. And it's... Oh, good. Oh my god, I thought that was going to be royal for a second. I actually wouldn't have minded, because then I could trade it in for any UR I wanted, but... Okay. We got the best one! Yay! <laughs> okay, here's our other UR. Robin. <laughs> And it's... oh, I wasn't particularly looking for this one, but... <laughs> oh no, this isn't good. <laughs> Glossy just doing a little prank. I have that UR royal. Ugh. Where is Preventer? Where is Emergency? 
This is what, our second of five? Okay, so we still have a couple, a couple more chances. Ages of Stars and Frost, that's such a cool name, I can't get over that. This is level seven! You can't even summon this with Gaia the Fierce Knight! What are, what are you doing in here? Why, why is Gaia in this pack? Katwar B, Cater B. I'm sure I butchered your name. Oh, here's the fusion. Apologies for that. Gaia Blaze Force of the Sun plus a face up monster you control. When your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or graveyard, quick effect, you can discard one monster, negate that effect, and if you do destroy that card, when this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can target one fire monster in your graveyard. Special somebody can use each effect of Gaia Prominence, the Fierce Force, once per turn. It's not bad, but you have to have exactly that. Um, oh, that's my Fusion Arm Medicine is back. Okay. Oh? Hey! Hey! There we go! There we go! There's a little more luck on our side. Okay. Alright. It came out! <laughs> so good! <laughs> that's really good. It came out. It's Mirror Sword Knight! Yeah, I mean, if I was planning on playing the Illusion deck, this would definitely not be a bad pull, but I don't have a lot of plans to play that. Especially because you need, like, three of these. So, okay, I mean, we got three URs. I guess I can't complain too much about that. I think Konami's telling you something. Perhaps, mayhaps. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we got a couple more here. I was gonna say, I want to see at least more than one. Uh, glowing rainbow pack here, so we got two. I'm, I'm, I'm not dissatisfied with that. Born to pull royal bonfires, forced to craft emergencies. You know, uh, that's a world I'm, I'm not, I'm not too torn up about living in that world. Monadium Breakheart. Wait, this is new. Normal trap. Target one tuner or synchro monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Then if you summoned a special summon a light monster, you destroy one monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to. The special summoned monsters. If Vice's Starfrost or a monster with 1500 attack, 100 defense, you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, and you banish this card from your graveyard instead. Um, yeah, this card's not really that great. The counter trap is obviously far better. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't play this. Is it interesting to kind of my shopping list simply too long? I feel that, honestly. That's actually pretty much exactly how I feel about it, too. I'm not disinterested in Chimera Illusion stuff, but... There's so much. There's so much to build. So much to pull. Only so many URs. Or craft materials. <laughs> the Synchro is level 7! You can't even... Ugh, that, that bothers me. <laughs> okay. Here is one of our URs. We might even get two URs in this pack. Let's see. Oh, we did! Nightmare Magician and... Another Veda! Okay. <laughs> Good. No Rescue Ace stuff yet. No Eperly Noir. Eperly Noir is, like, one of the big ones I want to pull. Because, like, I'll craft the Rescue... I mean, I'll, I'll craft Eperly Noir, too, but... I'd like to pull it. I don't know. This seems like it'd be a very pretty royal. I don't think this card... Well, actually, what does this card do? Can't be secret summoned... I just... I don't know anything about her Sarctics. Tribute... Okay, with a level difference of one... Right, that's how all their synchros work, I think. Tribute one level eight or Sarctic monster from your hand or field. And this card. So summon level seven from your extract. Ignore against summoning conditions. If you do a gains effect, your opponent cannot activate... Your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters with a level that were special summoned from the extra deck. It's a flood. It is a floodgate. <laughs> um, it's a really weird floodgate effect. It stops exactly fusions and synchros and pendulum summoned monsters. Pendulum summoned from the extra deck does not work on Xyz or Link monsters. Hmm. I mean, I mean, it's definitely something for the Ursarchic archetype, but I just don't know much about it. it would, like I said, that'd be very pretty royal though. Parallels the other synchro. Oh, does the other synchro negate stuff without a level? Ooh, look at your. That would make sense. That would make more sense to me. And it's 
<laughs> Altergeist ad mini? We're literally getting every UR except the ones that we want. Like, I think unironically we've pulled every UR except the ones I'm really looking for. But it's okay. That is what dismantling is for. There's Epperly Happiness. Dust is dust. Agreed. Okay, here's our other guaranteed UR pack. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, are you kidding me? Another Nightmare Magician? Also, apologies if you hear sounds in the background. They're still doing construction directly outside of my house. More or less. Alright, this one is another Impulse. Kami knows what you are to not give you. I've been having too good of luck, they said. They said, no more for Lex. Nah. I don't actually think rig poles are rigged, by the way. I think that's some that's thing that's some tinfoil hat stuff. No! I was really hoping that would turn royal! <laughs> I would like a royal Sam Sorry, That'd be very pretty. Alright. Got two more. Let's see what we got here. Uh, two more URs. Okay, so as far as the quantity of URs, I can't complain about that. Konami is oppressing me. Exactly. See, Blaze gets it. Oh, we got a UR. And it's... Big Wing... Literally, again, literally every UR but the ones we're looking for. But that wasn't even one of the glowing packs. So, again, we'll not complain too much at all. My purple headband looks made out of tinfoil. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> oh, isn't this card, like, kind of relevant? It's a rank 4. It's a generic rank 4. When your dinosaur monster destroys an opponent's card, monster I battle and sends it to the graveyard, material, decent ship material, and flip a thousand damage your opponent's card against this card. Okay, it's not relevant. Never mind. It's a retrain. That's, I think that's what I meant to say was retrain, not relevant. It's a retrain of the rank 3 that came in the Xyz starter deck. Gen Generous Genosaurus? Grenadosaurus? Something like that? Time card, maybe? Wouldn't be surprised if it's affected by payments. That's- it's very illegal to do that. It is highly illegal to do that. I will say, like, I am more willing to believe that pack pulls are rigged than the deck shuffler is rigged. The deck shuffler being rigged makes no sense to me. I don't think pack pulls are rigged, because that would be illegal. But, there's fusion armament, okay. Um, but, I guess, I don't know. Big companies doing illegal things is not the most unbelievable thing in the world. There's another you are. And it's... Okay, there's that pearly noir. Huh? No. Okay. Well, I'm glad we pulled something <laughs> that we wanted. <laughs> we pulled at least one of the things that we wanted. How would anybody be able to prove it? I'm sure there are ways. I'm not knowledgeable enough to know if there are or not, but I'm sure there are ways uh, and there are checks for that kind of a thing. I don't know. But I don't know that, so. That said, I, again, I, I am very much on the side of, uh, or a believer that these, that they're not rigged. That, I would be very, very surprised if they were. The shuffler being rigged makes extra no sense to me because, like, you know, I've asked people who say that, like, why do you think the shuffler is rigged? And they say money. And it's like, how does rigging the shuffler possibly make the money? Like, how could that possibly... Doesn't make any sense to me. Um, all right, we have one more pack here. Time to do. Oh, hey, guys! Wow, we, wow, this was actually a really good ten pack for you, ours. Time to do a statistics stream. So true. Like, oh my god. Like, seriously. I I highly encourage everyone out there to take a statistics class. Uh, for many reasons, it's just a good general another fusion armament. It's a good general life skill, I think. Honestly, like being knowledgeable about how statistics works, but especially if you're playing, uh, you know, a TCG or, like, a game where RNG is a factor in this way, like, 
yeah. Uh, very like just learning about variants in general. Variance is is so is so very important. Um, that was five URs. Yeah, that was not bad at all. So we have one more to open. Now let me see here what all we've pulled so far. <laughs> well, we did. We've also dodged the spirit walk, which we don't really want, but. Literally, the only other ones we haven't pulled are Lars, Preventer, and Emergency. That's good. That's good. Uh, I would like to pull a Lars, mostly because I don't really have... Well, I guess I don't really have plans to use it right now, but I kind of don't want to craft one later, so... Ugh, God. That's brutal. Oh, please let there be at least one UR in here. Thank you! Thank you! Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall... Receive. Let's go. Oh, thank you, come on me. I did not want to have to. Ooh, we even got two in here. All right, I did not want to have to spend money to get another thousand gems. Our third fusion armament. Wow, and also our third alter guy <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I don't mind having a play set of this card because it means I don't have to craft it later if I want to use it. So, we'll definitely take that action. Okay, thank god. Again, I did not want to have to drop money for another thousand. Because I'm not going to not leave, like, I'm not going to just leave that there, right? That that guaranteed you are. You can't not pull for it. You <laughs> matrix dodging emergency information. Yeah, for real though. And Lars. And Lars. And also the Congo Trap, but... So the Chimera Fusion. Okay. Ooh, okay, got something here and here. You are? No. I learned if you have a UR guarantee on your next 10 pack and open a free single, your guarantee goes away. That's brutal. What? Why? <laughs> that sucks. Like, damn, even from the free single, like, I, I could, I don't, I don't, I don't even understand buy, ah, that's, that sucks, dude. <laughs> that's awful, what the hell? <laughs> that sucks, I'm sorry you had to learn that from what it sounds like the hard way, I had no idea. Kami doesn't bring the shuffler, but after so much bad luck, you have to blame someone. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. If you wanna, if you wanna blame Konami for just your your problems in general, I'm not gonna stop you. Other Epperly happiness. I think the shuffler can be glitched if the order isn't all determined exactly at the same time. The cards get aside in a race and obviously... I don't know how the shuffler works. I'm not... I, I have no clue. I am not nearly knowledgeable in that kind of a thing. I think if the shuffler, like, doesn't work, it's probably by accident. Like, just... It's not only the thought of, like, it doesn't make them money, but the idea that, like, Konami would spend time, money, and manpower to rig the shuffler to lose money because people are dissatisfied with bad hands like that makes zero sense to me but i could see it not working by accident somehow that would make sense so all right there's our 50 packs and let's see what we ended up with all in all here so we got three adminia zero lars we got our epperly noir oh i already own one guardian chimera that's why it's showing up here that makes sense uh one new chimera one birth from it one mirror sword knight no preventers <laughs> Uh, two of each Nightmare Magician and Veda, zero emergencies. You know what? I won't complain about pulling, again, a playset of Fusion Armament. Just because, like I said before, this is not the kind of card I would normally go out of my way to craft or something. But if I have a playset of it handy already, uh, then we could potentially cook there, right? So. And then, looks like that's pretty much it for you, Ars. So. I think that's going to about do it for the pack opening video here. And as for the stream, we're going to go ahead and get started with some deck building. So um, for everyone on YouTube, thank you so very much for watching, as always as ever. And we're going to move to our outro.
specifically good in this deck that I'm missing here. So, all right. Let's craft our Rescue Ace cards. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Oh, uh, did it again. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. That means a lot to me. Uh, it's also a great way to support the channel. So thank you very much for in that way as well. Uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel in other ways, uh, like the very special patrons that I am thanking here, uh, you can do so by checking out some of the links in the description. One of those goes to the Patreon uh, where you can join these fine folk and support the channel that way. I do post daily content over on Patreon, so uh, you do get something for supporting there. And if you're interested, I also have a coaching tier option uh, as well. Details again will be on Patreon in the link below. Uh, also in the description linked below is my Twitch page where I stream uh, a few times a week. You can go ahead and check that out, follow or subscribe over there uh, if you ever want to catch me live. Uh, you'll also find my second YouTube channel if you feel like subscribing over there to watch some of the Twitch VODs as as well as some additional uh, non-Yu-Gi-Oh related content that I make over there. Uh, again, any of those links you want to check out is all a great way uh, of supporting. But again, even if you don't do that, just watching was also a fantastic way to support. And once again, I have to thank you so very much. But uh, in any case, this is Hexlex. I'm going to be signing out and I'm hoping you have a fantastic day.